Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nicole and I've lost a hundred pounds over my health journey with a low carb and with a ketogenic lifestyle. So in today's video, I am really excited and nervous at the same time because I'm going to see if this bad boy knocks me out of ketosis today. So just to give you a little bit of background story time information, the last time I drank one of these last week was the first time I drank one since December because I've been doing the keto cut. I will leave what that is in the description box down below. I have a whole video dedicated on what the keto cut is for me anyway. And I drank one of these for the first time in months and tested my ketones and I came in at a 0 0.04, which means I was technically kicked out of ketosis. Now my ketones have been reading 0 0.9 to almost two point something because I've been alternate day fasting. So it was a big surprise for me to take my ketones and see that I was knocked out of ketosis. And the only thing new that I incorporated in my diet was the sparkling ice energy drinks and a perfect keto bar, which I have incorporated while doing the keto cut and really haven't seen an issue. So I am thinking that this is what knocked me out of ketosis. So I've had a lot of people inquire and say, hey, have you tried another one? Have you tested your ketones? Do you know what's going on? And we're gonna try it out today. To test our ketones first thing this morning, we are going to only have water after drinking this. And three hours later, we're gonna test our ketones again. We're gonna see if it actually did indeed knock me out of ketosis. I am scared because I love these things. These are much better ingredients than the bangs. Are they the cleanest? No. The cleanest energy drink I have found has been the Zevia because it is sweetened with stevia and not sucralose. And I know sucralose does not affect most people's glucose or their ketones, but I'm thinking that this is what it is. Now, I want to give a disclaimer and say that not all products will knock you out of ketosis. They may knock me out of ketosis. Every Everybody's different on how they respond to certain products. So just keep that in mind. So whatever the results on this that we find, it may not affect you the same way. That goes with all products. So just keep that in your back pocket that just because something knocks me out doesn't mean it's always going to knock you out. So let's chug this bad boy and let's see what happens after three hours and if it does affect this girl. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. So I am testing ketones because I want to get a, an idea of what I'm reading before we do this test. So it is exactly about 9 o'clock, 9.08, so we're coming in at a 0.6. I always read super low when first waking up in the morning. I've only been awake about 30 minutes, and I'm coming in at a 0.6, which means 0.5 and above, according to the keto coach, is ketosis, so we are doing good. But I want to see if this number goes down when I test it three hours after drinking that energy drink. And again, the reason why I'm waiting three hours is right after you eat, eat something or drink something that has any type of ingredients, your blood glucose is going to rise, but after three hours, it starts to fall. So we should get an accurate reading of what our ketones should be after eating a product in about three hours. So I'm gonna do that. I've been testing my ketones in the afternoons when I've been fasting for 20 slash four fast and on full days of eating, and they've been 0.9 and above consistently the past three weeks until I had that energy drink last week. So we're coming in at 0.6. If this comes in any lower in the three hour reading, guys, that is gonna tell me that those drinks definitely affect me. So we will see you guys in three hours. So to keep things 100%, it is 9.09 .09 showing you right there, and I'm just now going to open this. And three hours later, we'll test and see what we got going on. So it is 9.24, guys. I'm gonna now go ahead and set the timer for three hours because I wanted to have all this in my system before I started setting the three hour timer. I will say it was pretty hard to chug this down in 20 minutes. I usually sip on these for probably an hour and this is not my favorite flavor. It's the first time I've tried this triple citrus. I love the blue raspberry and the black raspberry one. And I think I had the blue one last week, the one that I'm assuming kicked me out of ketosis. So this experiment will be fun. We shall see. The only thing I'm gonna be having is water and that's it. I'm not gonna have anything else. I'm not gonna eat anything else, drink anything else, just water so we can see if this is the culprit and go ahead and pinpoint this bad boy out. We shall see in three hours. 
three hours later. It's 1227. My three hour timer just went off. So we're going to go ahead and test ketones again and see how this energy drink affected us today. Results are in. Verdict is in. We went up to a 0.7. So as you saw for my fasted ketones this morning, we came in at a 0.6. I guzzled that energy drink down from sparkling ice and I did not have anything else but water. And three hours later, we're at a 0.7. So this shows me that this does not affect my ketones at all. Those don't affect my journey, which I'm happy with because I really enjoy those. However, the only other thing I had last week with that energy drink was a perfect keto chocolate chip cookie dough bar. So now I'm leading to think that maybe that perfect keto bar is what affected me. So I think I'm gonna do another whole dedicated video on the perfect keto bars to see if they knock me out of ketosis or if they affect my journey, which will be sad times because y'all know I love those bars so much. So final verdict guys, sparkling ice energy drinks don't affect me, but take that with a grain of salt. They might affect you um, and they don't affect me. So that's why it's so important to have a keto coach monitor to check and see if certain foods knock you out of ketosis or if they affect your journey. That's why I recommend it and love this thing oh so much. I would be curious to know if the bang energy drinks um, knock me out of ketosis or if I have the same results with that. So I'll probably do a video with just those in the future as well. The next testing video we do like this, I'm gonna do the perfect keto bars. That's gonna be the next one, but I really don't want to because I love those things. But happy to know I can have the sparkling ice energy drinks. Y'all ask where you can buy those. You can get those at Walmart. That Check your Walmart. They have them at my Walmart. And if you're local to me in Southern Louisiana, Rouse's carries them as well. They're delicious and affordable, way more affordable than the bangs. I love them. And they don't have acylfame potassium in them like the bangs, which is known to kick people out of ketosis, raise glucose, and be a cancer-causing agent, which y'all know I love bangs. I gotta get through my Black Friday cases and test and see if they affect me and then we'll be done with those probably. I know, sad time. Final thoughts time on the sparkling ice energy drinks and our results that we got from our ketone readings. So honestly, I thought this was going to one, knock me out, or two, at least be a little bit lower. So we came in at a 0.6 this morning. I expected it to be at least at like a 0 0.5, 0 0.4, but for it to go up actually to a 0.7 after a three hour window, that shows me this has zero effect on me whatsoever. Like I said earlier, I'm curious to see if the bangs do. The bangs have the acylfame potassium, which has been scientifically proven to knock people out of ketosis or lower their ketones. So we'll have to do another dedicated video just for a bang energy drink and see how that affects us. And I'm also now super curious, but also super upset to know if the perfect keto bars affect me. Because like I said, everything I had that day was pretty much spot on what I've been eating. My ketones were on fire. The only two new things that I incorporated that I hadn't had in a while was this and forever. And then the perfect keto bars I haven't had in a few weeks and I incorporated both of these at the same time and then got kicked out of ketosis. So that was very interesting to me and I'm very interested in these videos to see how products affect me and I think this will help you guys too. And like I said earlier, just because I came in at a 0.7 with this after three hours doesn't mean this won't knock you out, doesn't mean that it will even lower yours at all. Everybody's different in how they respond to things. So don't take this to heart. This is just for fun to see actually if these knocked me out. I had so many requests last week when I mentioned it in the keto vlog that was posted on Monday that you wanted to see me try it again and see if it was in fact this because you've ordered many of these and you're hooked on them. And from what I can tell from my body, these are A-OK. -okay. But we will try a bang. I know a lot of y'all love bang as I do. I'm trying to wean them out of my diet because they have that ingredient in them that I'm trying to steer away from. I've got two cases from Black Friday though that I have to get through. So I will be drinking them unless they severely affect me, which you'll see in a future video. And then the perfect keto bars, I guess we gotta test those next. So was this a keto kicker? This was not a keto kicker for me. I think that's what we're gonna call these videos. Was it a keto kicker? And this is a keto keeper. We're gonna keep this one. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, this is brand new to my channel, something I haven't done before, give it a huge thumbs up. And especially if you wanna see the perfect keto bars get tested next, I think that's the one we're gonna test maybe next week. Give the video a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it and I know you wanna see that perfect keto bar test one next. If you're not subscribed and you're new, I'd love to have you part of the YouTube family. We do 
do everything keto related here. So we'd love you to click all the bells and whistles down below and join us. Don't forget, I do have a new Facebook group over on Facebook. It's called Keto with Cole Burgess. It is an amazing community already. I am blown away by the response and the amazing people over there. It is a safe, non-keto police place. So if you want to go and join us over there and get inspiration with recipes and motivate each other, it's just a really awesome space. Look in the comments and the description box down below. I'll have it linked there. And thank you all so much again for watching. Go and get your sparkling ice from Walmart or whatever store you can find it. People are telling me Publix rouses by me and enjoy or test them with your meter and see how you come out. We'll see you in the next one, y'all. Bye.